Now we come to a new law called the Avogadro's law, which is a volume amount relationship. Till now we have been seeing the mass and pressure, volume and temperature. Okay. Mass, pressure, volume, temperature. And until now we have seen all, so uh, almost all, not all. Now we are between the, this. So this is, so this is something that is kept constant and, and we vary this. Volume. Okay, <clears throat> fine. Now, it is the first time till now the mm -hmm. oh variable, right? So, it is variable, variable. So, what happens for the first time? Till now we saw all the all the laws as for a given mass of gas for a given mass of gas. Now what happens if I if I decide to vary the mass? If I try to vary the mass, what happens? So say I try to double the mass. How how do you think? Uh, how do you think that should happen? Why do you think that should happen? Uh, see, suppose I have a container, let us try to understand it this way, there is a container, I have a container with the volume V and say some some mass of the gas here and it has at a given temperature a particular pressure correct i have another identical container i have An identical container, same volume, under identical conditions. So, same temperature, same volume. I have put in same amount of mass and, and obviously they should be replicated, right? So, so obviously the pressure will go to the same, same thing. Now, what I do, I bring them together and remove the partition in between. I can do that, bring them together, okay, sort of weld it from outside and, and say, say or, or seal it from outside with a tape or something and if say this is removable then, then remove the partition. So what happens, there is this one and, and, and this fellow comes in, okay, so they are now, now something like this, I bring them together and the, the partition here I remove. Now what do you feel will be the pressure? What do you think will happen to the pressure? It will decrease? It should. Why? Because the volume is increasing. So, volume is increasing. It will be more distributed. 
No, that means the total total pressure that will go below. Uh, where where will it go? Suppose you have two cylinders, same pressure, and you connect them. What happens? What will happen to the cylinders? So, so you have two two cylinders, same pressure, and you just connect it. So do you think there will be some transfer of gas from here to there, or what? Hmm? If there are two equal pressures and I join them, let us think it this way. Let us think, think, think another way, the reverse way. Suppose there is a joint container. Okay, so, so it is something like this. And you suddenly put a partition in between. You will suddenly put a partition in between. If you put a partition in between, so there is gas and I, and I just partition it, then the pressure will increase. Hmm? And I again partition it, then again the pressure will increase. So that is a nice way of increasing the pressure without without compressing the gas, is it not? How am I compressing it? I have just slid, slid a partition in between. So you, you tell me this, forget everything, forget everything. If I close this room and I, I, I partition it into two, suddenly the pressure will increase. You tell me that. This is a closed room. I just say, draw a curtain or maybe maybe a, 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 a an airtight partition i put in between you mean to say that the you mean to say that the pressure will increase and then i again divide it into four and the pressure again increase it will huh or there are uh, 10 rooms with me i keep on removing the partition so suddenly the pressure will start falling Think, think, think. You, you, why are you going into all that? You, you are, you are not doing anything. You just apply your common sense and tell me just this: that if this is this room is closed and suddenly someone draws a partition in between, what happens to the pressure? You, you, you must have flown, right? So you go to the toilet and you close the door. Then what happens? Suddenly the pressure goes up. Why? Because you have partitioned the airplane into a very small compartment. Does it happen? Should it happen? That's what it is, is it not? And pressure of what goes up and what goes down. That means the whole pressure drops. That means someone who divides the the shuts the door and suddenly the pressure in the side of the plane falls and then they again have to pump up some more air come on think hmm? and that that food section it closes its door again the pressure falls the pilot closes his own door the pressure falls huh? the rear toilet someone goes the pressure again falls and they open it up suddenly there is a compression then it has to be released out. Think. It has to remain the same. It has to remain the same. It might not be so obvious to you right now. But, but you people are going on P and V, right? Mm. P and V because, because the volume has doubled so pressure has to go down but the mass has also gone up. Mm. And that PV is again, again the, the same thing. The mass has become 2M. So now this contains 2M, 2B. same P, 2V and same T. So what has happened? If you suddenly double the mass, the volume goes up if you want to keep the pressure the same. 
Mm-hmm. No. And that is what. What is the pressure in the first container it should be, and in the second container it should be? That's a different thing. That's a different thing. That will that will have to be. Uh, then that will have to be. That will become the domain of the thermodynamics. Don't worry; those things are coming to you. <clears throat> Not something very difficult, but the process changes. It depends whether it is an adiabatic process or an or an isothermal process, and things will will take a different meaning altogether. But if this remains like this, then this is what should happen. So if I double the mass, the volume goes up. So somehow the the mass, the volume is directly proportional to the mass. If you want to keep the pressure and the temperature the same, correct. If you want to keep the temperature and pressure the same, then somehow your volume is dependent on the mass. Is it not? And that is what Sri Avogadro has to say. Okay. <clears throat> A medio Avogadro. Hmm? Uh, so it says that equal volumes of, of all gases. So, so it says if you have the same mass of gas, okay, or, or you take equal volumes of gas, then they'll have the same mass at the same temperature and pressure. Okay. So So it says somehow that the, the equal volumes of all gases <coughs> contain equal number of contain equal number of molecules under the conditions of under the same conditions of temperature and pressure same number of molecules says it contains the same equal number of molecules okay so the num we will we'll go go deeper into it maybe beyond what your book entails us to do so you will understand it better so so what happens? Number of molecules is what? The same number of molecules means moles. Means moles. So somehow what happens? V is directly proportional to N. In physics you will see uh, mostly mu getting used in place of the number of moles. Okay, But in chemistry they, they, they continue with with a small n because small n later becomes the number of particles per unit volume conventionally okay so that is the limitation that's why they have to switch to mu okay so as per avogadro's law so as per avogadro's law Our volume is directly proportional to N. And so it implies that V is equal to K4M. Where K4 is constant, but at constant pressure and 
टेम्परेचर ओके सो मेनी कॉन्स्टेंट कमिंग कमिंग इन टू प्ले ओके सो 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 दिस इज योर एवगैड्र लॉ एंड वी हैव वी हैव सीन दैट दैट द नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स सिंस दे आर वेरी लार्ज इवन फॉर स्मॉल मासस so we we have gone into the concept of a mole right so a mole of the particle contains how much contains how many particles 6.0 0 2 3 2 3 I am saying particles <clears throat> because if it is atomic, say a noble gas, then there will be atoms. If it is molecular, say H two N two, H two O, or O two or o, whatever, H two O is not always water. I am talking about the steam form, right? So, so the phase will be gaseous there, H two O. So it contains so many particles. We also know. that one one mole of this is what is equal to the gram molecular mass is the gram molecular mass what is that you have the molar mass right so many grams in place of u you would place it by g that will contain the same And the same number of particles, and we have derived it, right? We have derived it because its its whole its whole origin lies in the in the in in what in the definition of one u. One u is how much? Which is one twelfth of the mass of. Carbon twelve, carbon twelve, and that that comes out to be. What do you mean by carbon twelve? If I said a carbon twelve, then then carbon twelve is carbon twelve. I C fourteen is isotope of carbon twelve, huh? No. C fourteen or C twelve both are isotopes of the same carbon. So if I said C twelve. Hmm. No. So one twelfth of mass of uh, this is equal to how much? This is uh, equal to to exactly equal to how much? Hmm. It is about. but it's only about i wanted the exact value this 1.992648 come on 0.0822 come on what are you what are you calculating yes This calculator does not have constant. We have this with so, so it is. One U is exactly.
1.661 into 10 to the power minus 27. So 1.661 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. Okay. 